वेलकम है गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन 3.51 ऑफ चैप्टर 3 एंड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ इट इज थ्री कार्ड्स आर ड्रॉन विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट फ्रॉम द 12 फेस कार्ड्स व्हिच आर जैक्स क्वींस एंड किंग्स ऑफ एन ऑर्डिनरी डेक ऑफ 52 प्लेइंग कार्ड्स लेट एक्स बी द नंबर ऑफ किंग्स ओके एंड वाई बी द नंबर ऑफ जैक्स सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस डाटा वी हैव टू पार्ट्स सो लेट मी फर्स्ट राइट द गिवन डाटा हियर एंड इन गिवन डाटा we have here the total number of cards which are 12 and from these 12 i have to select three cards okay so these three cards can be composed of x y or queens so here i will have the representation of kings okay or the number of kings is x and the number of jacks is y okay while the remaining are the queens which are basically x minus y okay so we have x y and x minus y cards and uh, from 12 cards i have to select 3 and here the part a of this question is we have to find the joint probability distribution of x and y okay so let me have a solution of this question so solving it this is part a of my question and in part a the total number of combinations by selecting three cards from 12 which we will have here would be this is basically the total and it will be 12 choice 3 okay so finding the solution of it i will get 12 factorial divided by 3 factorial multiplied by 12 minus 3 is 9 factorial which is basically 220 so the total number of combinations which we can have here are 220 but in order to find the joint probability distribution of x and y let me have here this f so let me represent them with x and y here what we can do here is the combinations of three cards from x y and x minus y which are coins divided by the total number of combinations okay so we know the total number of combinations which are 220 but we don't know the combination of three cards so let me have here so initially the four cards we have are the kings so king has four cards similarly jacks has four cards as well and the remaining queens are also composed of four cards okay so dividing it over 220 but what should be here the choices from four i can have x number of kings okay from these fours which are jacks i will have y number of uh jacks and from this which are the queens and uh, we know that here we don't encounter the queens so therefore the three cards here we will have the total while from it i have to subtract the number of cards i have here okay so let me correct it as well here okay so here we will have these number of cards so this is what this is the formula for the joint distribution of x and y and this is basically the essence of the question which we are going to solve today okay so this is what we have now on the basis of this formula let me draw the table in which uh, i will write the joint distribution okay uh, or joint probability distribution of x and y so let me have here different values of x and y so here we have x and here we have y so y values are 0 let me use another color for it and yes let me use this green one so here 0 1 2 3 okay why the 0 1 and 3 because here we can see that either x can have 0 1 2 or 3 values okay here all the uh, cards selected would be king or i can have here y where i will have here 
one two three where this is the lowest value and this is the highest it means zero means no jack while three means all here are jacks so on the basis of this one we can also write the condition for this as well which is the x plus y will be greater or equal to zero and it can also be less than or equal to three which is the lowest possible condition for this one and this is basically condition for the formula which i have previously derived okay so these are the quantities we have similarly for x i can write here zero one two okay so on the basis of it i have to make the selections and i have to write the formula and in this formula this zero zero is for f zero zero this zero one would be for f zero one this would be for f zero two and so on until and unless we will have here f33 okay but remember that here i have to encounter all these values in which x plus y is at most equal to 3 while all the values which are greater than 3 are neglected here okay you have to keep in your mind like here i will have 3 0 okay it will be included because 3 plus 0 or x plus y is within this range while here if i will write 3 1 so here x plus 1 x plus y which is 3 plus 1 is 4 which is not in this range so therefore we will neglect this one okay so now let me remove them and let me write the values actual values which we will have here okay so let me remove it and let me draw this table again with this color okay so this is what this is the table so now in order to write here the value zero zero let me write here zero zero putting this x equal to zero y equal to zero here in this formula what i will get here it would be four zero four zero again and here x plus y zero so four choice three and dividing it over 220 okay now solving them here 40 is 1 this 4 choice 1 is also 1 while this 4 choice 3 is 4 okay dividing it over 220 what i will get here it will be 1 over 55 so let me write this value here 155 similarly for 0 1 let me remove this 0 from here and write one here similarly here it will become one and it will become two okay so now this four zero is one this four one is four here while this four two is now six okay so now it will become six by fifty five okay similarly putting now this for this this is zero two so this is zero two this is two this is it will become one and similarly changing these values what i will get here again here i will get six by 55 okay so you know that how to fill this table let me fill it out with the values i previously had found out so it will be one over 55 similarly it will be six over 55 here 16 over 55 okay and this is again 6 over 55 this value will be neglected because 1 plus 3 x and y values are uh, greater than this 3 which are 4 so i am neglecting it similarly here it will be 6 over 55 okay it will be 6 over 55 as well while neglecting these two because 2 plus 2 and 2 plus 3 are greater than 3 and this is the last one where this is 1 over 55 okay so now this is what this is the joint probability distribution of x and y which is the solution of part a of our question you have seen that i have found out by using the formula which i have previously derived here okay so similarly uh, on the basis of all these things i have to solve part b of my question in which the probability of, of x and y where this is the member of a and where a is the region given by x y such that x plus y is greater than 2 okay so this is part b and i have to write or find the probability that such that x plus y 
is greater or equal to 2 okay which can be found out by subtracting the other range of it which is x plus y is less than 2 from 1 okay so let me see that what are the values here in which x and y and summation of them is less than 2 so this is 0 0 and 0 plus 0 is 0 which is less than 2 similarly here 0 plus 1 this is 1 which is less than 2 as well okay and this is 0 plus 2 this is not less than 2 while the equality condition is not given here so this is not included similarly 1 0 this is 1 plus 0 is less than 2 and this is also included so let me include these three values here and add them together i will get 1 minus 1 over 55 plus 6 over 55 plus 6 over 55 as well okay so it will be 1 minus adding them all together what i will get 6 plus 6 plus 1 is 13 13 divided by 55 so ultimately subtracting it from 1 i will get 42 over 55 which is the solution of part b of my question okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of part a and part b of our question 3.51 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon